Thank you so much for coming to The Messenger. Once again, I'm The Messenger, and I am just here to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on whatever you are facing today. So I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I surely did. I really enjoyed my holidays. And I just wanted to, you know, I, I always think about you know, things that I've went through and what I conquered, you know, and sometimes you have to do that to see how far you come. See, I teach my son to stop paying attention to what you haven't accomplished. Sometimes you have to sit down and think about where you used to be and where you are now. You know, if you are still in that same rut, you're still in that same spot, then you you, you got to do something different. But if you were at a situation to where you didn't have a job, you were looking for a job, you, could, you didn't have nobody to take you to look for a job, to being on a job for two years, that is a big accomplishment. And sometimes we have to look at where we are now. And look at where we were last year around the same time. And it makes you feel like you've accomplished things. You'll feel, you'll see how you are growing or you'll miss it. You'll always be stressed. You'll always be weary. You'll always be belittling yourself. You will always be putting yourself down. And you have to step back. You know, I was watching my son one day. He just looked down. He looked sad. And I was like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, I just don't know what to do in life. And that's when I told him, you know, I had to learn that. Or you'll constantly be stressed out. You'll constantly feel like you're not going anywhere. You got to pay attention to what you have accomplished. Remember uh, years ago, you were out clubbing. You were out sleeping with everybody you met. But then now you have children. You you have a stable home. You know, you may not be making the money you want to make, but your life has changed. So take this time this week to look at your life and stop trying to get to the brand new house. Look at where you are now. Is where you are now better than you were a year ago? Or a, a three years ago? Then you've accomplished something. And sometimes you have to take steps. Try not to compare your life to someone else. You got to look at the little things that counts. That's the journey. Now, somebody, some people do uh, progress overnight. But still, when you sit down and talk to those people that come out of nowhere and they blow up, when you sit down and talk to them, they will tell you their journey, where they came from. They will tell you that, you know, I did this and nobody noticed me. It took me three years to get noticed. And then that still wasn't enough. I still had to do this and I had to do that. And... Then I was noticed, and then I blew up. It is never a story where they just actually blew up overnight. But in your mind on the outside looking in, you're like, yes, they blew up overnight. Where did they come from? Everybody has a journey. So stop being so hard on yourself and look at where you were last year. If you're still in the same place and you haven't progressed and or you haven't had a raise or you're not living better or you're not doing total uh, things different, then you need to look at what you're doing the same and stop and do something different. Don't be so hard on yourself. Forgive yourself when you mess up. Get up and try it again. And how I would do what every day I get up, I will look at this as a new day. Nobody's bothered me. Nobody's done nothing to me. Um, and I will try it again. And I will see what I did yesterday that I need to do today. Until I got it right. 
So, you know, like I said, this channel is about my life. It was a point of time where I dressed prerogative, uh, you know, promiscuous. Probably saying that wrong. Don't laugh at me too bad. But I showed my body. I showed my shape. And when I seen that it got the wrong attention, I didn't want that type of attention. I wanted attention. I wanted to feel beautiful. But when I realized that it was attracting the wrong men, I had to stop. Either because you can explain to people all night, don't all day long, don't come to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. And the first thing I'm gonna say is, look at your clothes. Your clothes say everything. And you know, you, you can't make nobody think right. You should be able to wear what you want to wear. But when you notice that it's attracting the wrong type of men, and th that is not the type of men you are attracted to or want, you got to change something. You got to change something. Because you could be a lawyer and dress, uh, dress up showing your body parts. Nobody going to know you a lawyer. Do you see what I'm saying? Nobody's going to know you a professional woman unless they, we, and that's just how it is. It's the eyesight. So look at, for those who are stressing and thinking you're not accomplishing anything and you're giving up and you're tired of living, you, you're even thinking about committing suicide. Don't. Just take a second. Sit down and think about what you were doing last year. Maybe last year you were smoking weed all the time, and now this year you don't, but you haven't caught it. You haven't even noticed that you barely do it. You 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 haven't even noticed that you went a month without it. See, that's a change. If you smoke it all day, and you went from smoking all day to going a week or two without it, that's a change. Stop thinking things stop dramatically and that's what's stressing you out so you got to notice well if you want to stop cursing it takes time i used to curse a lot too every word i said was cursing i went through little stages and one day i decided i don't want to i have to start talking more professional because I couldn't, you know, not I wasn't a Christian woman when I decided this either. I just got tired of cursing. Every time I come out of my mouth, you know, it's it was just disturbing to me. It just got on my nerves. And I decided to stop. So, you know, every once in a while it'll slip out. But here I am now. I don't do that anymore. But it took time. I still do because it takes time. And a lot of us are stressing when we want things to happen now. And it just don't work like that. When we were born, we didn't come out cursing. So when we got on our own and doing our own things, we started wanting to do grown things. And we felt that cursing is a grown thing. But you, you, you say you can't stop. Now, see, this is how I learned that. You can stop when I was in the world. When I noticed that I stopped cursing around certain people, like my boss, like my children, when I stopped cursing around certain people, I caught it. And I said, well, if I could stop cursing around my boss, if I could stop cursing around certain people, I could stop cursing. And that's how I caught it. Now, how can I control myself around certain people but when they're not around, I'm cursing and I'm doing all types of things. So that means I have self-control. And I said, wow. So I have self-control. I can stop cursing. I can stop drinking. I can stop fornicating. I can stop um, dating the wrong men. I can stop dressing the way I... And it changed my world. So don't be so hard on yourself. And I just wanted to come on here and let you know that sometimes you got to stop and look at where you are now compared to where you were a year ago. And it's still okay. If you're still stuck in the same rut, you got to figure out what you're doing different. Sometimes you got to cut off people. And I'm not saying tell them, I, I don't want to deal with you no more. Just slowly stop going around for a little bit. You know? And then when you start, if you feel like it's, you know, you started dating a certain person and all of a sudden your life turned all around. 
back off. And if your life just pick back up and it start going and flow, things start flowing right, that's the answer. You don't have to be nasty and rude to them. Just back off. Test the spirit. You have to test everything around you to see what is in your life that is creating that you're still stuck. It doesn't mean take your, take, take your life. Don't. Just start paying attention to what's around you. I pray that this helps somebody. I, um, hit that like button if this helped you. You understand. It makes sense. Um, please share to be a blessing. And go ahead and join and subscribe so you won't miss another video. Go ahead and check out the channel. See if any other videos that can help you and strengthen you. And remember, you can do this. It is hard. But isn't it everything? When you get a new job, it seems overwhelming. It seems hard. But in the end, after you get all those skills, it gets easier. And that's just life. So I pray that this has blessed and helped you in any way. And you're welcome. Coming back soon with more, guys. You be blessed. See y'all later. Bye.